Hello and welcome once again to the Outsider's Perspective. My name is Ollie and here's your loaf of daily bread. Today's loaf comes to us from the psychologist and uh, one-time partner of Sigmund Freud, Carl Gustav Jung. Jung's quote today is right in line with a lot of the stuff that I've been sharing with you in these videos. All of these quotes, all of these passages, even though they come from very different sources and from different individuals, they're all pretty similar. They all belong to the same theme, and this one is no different. Jung says, Your vision will become clear only when you look into your heart. Who looks outside dreams. Who looks inside awakens. Jung is saying that the ultimate reality is within. You can compare it to Plato's cave allegory. The people who look strictly outside of themselves, who place value strictly in external and material things, are dreaming. The people who have an internal life and who value character, virtue, and resilience, inner peace, People, in other words, who look within, awaken from the dream. Of course, dream is just a metaphor. We could just as easily call it a delusion, a hallucination. As my friend Eric Sherman likes to say, reality is psychedelic. It's a controlled hallucination, a chemical reaction that is constantly occurring in your brain. What you see out there, what you experience out there, really is a dream. Jung wasn't exaggerating, although at the point when he said this, we didn't know what we know about the human brain, perception, cognition. We weren't that advanced. So for Jung to hit on this when he did, it's pretty impressive. But when you look at the greater context and all the things that I've been reading to you and sharing with you, in these Daily Bread videos and also in the other vlogs and videos that I've made, you see that it fits a certain pattern and it all connects in an elegant way because the scientists and the neuroscientists and the quantum physicists are just now arriving at the same conclusions as our ancestors. This is old news, but now we're starting to support it with empirical information, with scientifically verified information. So the mystics, the scientists, the philosophers, they're all saying the same thing. Out there's a dream. Within is more real. It's closer to reality, which is counterintuitive. Because when you think of reality, you think of the outside world, things as you perceive them. But again, I can't stress this enough. That's just a production. It's like a big play that's being put on. And you're sitting in the audience, right? Everything takes place in, the, in one theater, even though it looks like you go to different places, you change the setting, you change the backdrop, you move the props around, actors go off stage, actors come on stage, you get absorbed into this production and then you think that it's real. But the truth is that you can stand up at any time. You don't have to keep watching from the aisles. You can go backstage. You can talk to the playwright. You can talk to the producer. And in fact, you're their boss. So you can make them say and do whatever you want them to. Some of it's out of your control, obviously, what you experience through your senses, but your interpretation of it and how you feel about it is entirely up to you. Look inside and wake up. That's what Jung is saying. And that's what so many others have said. Just because a lot of people say it doesn't mean it's true, of course, but I'm just compiling evidence, you know? And it's like, if all the witnesses line up and they all say the same story, and then if I experiment and I experience things that support that, then it seems true to me. In any case, that's it for me. I'm about to get called to work. 
Live well, my friends.